Hi everyone, this is Peter here. We're having a beautiful morning here in Melbourne and I'm trying to take advantage of the sunny weather, only a little bit of breeze and I'm on a photo walk with my new EOS R7 and the Lao 190mm Ultra Macro which is capable of shooting up to 2x magnification. I absolutely love this new setup. I had been using the ATD primarily with either the Laowa 25mm Ultra Macro Lens or the Canon 100mm Macro Lens, the EF version, but this one is so much better, so much easier to use, especially at high magnification because of the exposure simulation of the EVF. I also have the um, manual focus peaking enabled, which definitely helps with super shallow depth of field. I also assigned to the mode function button the digital zoom, which also uh, comes handy in certain scenarios. Anyway, I'm gonna head down to the local wetlands and try to take some pictures of different subjects. All right, let's take the lens cap off. I'll be shooting everything at f11 and maximum magnification, switching on the speed light. And let's start with 100 of a second, ISO 320. Let's just get down here. Oh my god, so many mosquitoes. Uh, one of the resident magpies just started wobbling. There's something here. I think it is just the exoskeleton. So I'm shooting at F11, ISO 400 and 100 of a second. And the focus picking definitely helps. I'm trying to nail the focus on the eye of this exoskeleton. There's just too many mosquitoes here and I don't want to get bitten. To be quite honest, I absolutely hate them. They love me, but I hate them. Move further down here. Normally we have a lot of termites and um, other creepy crawlies on these dead trunks. But nothing now. There's a small fly here, looks pretty good. I'm a bit afraid that it's gonna get scared, so I'm gonna actually zoom out a little bit. Come on, turn around. It's cleaning itself. Not bad at all. I can further increase the sharpness in post. But oh, there's something else here. It's hiding right in this little crevice. I found a assassin bug. Uh, it's on the other side, damn it. Come back. It's turning around now. I'm gonna try and capture it at full magnification. Oops, you guys can't even see me. I was lucky enough to capture a couple of uh, images, both at lower and at maximum magnification of 2x of this beautiful assassin bug. I have found a leaf hopper or plant hopper just right here. I'm gonna try and capture it at 2x magnification first. I saw 250. I'm gonna grab this. That was really successful, it's gone. There is a nice damselfly just there. I'm actually gonna try and shield it from the sun. I've got our next subject here, which is a beautiful lynx spider, I believe. Okay, I can lower the exposure again. Let's try. 200 of a second. I'm gonna try and frame it in a way where there aren't any annoying distractions. Okay, I think I can lower the exposure even more to 320th of a second, because I don't wanna blow the highlights out on that exec, which is really wide. I like the framing of this shot because there aren't any distracting elements. Just trying to make sure that it's super simple. The composition is very simple. That's beautiful, I like that. And now what I'm gonna do is try to get even closer. It has changed position. Oh, it's actually reinforcing the exit now, I think. Oh, that's nice. 
It was so funny the way it was moving its spinnerets. The level of detail is exceptional. This is awesome. Hopefully it's gonna turn around because I wanna capture it from the front with a bit of eye contact. Let's get closer now. Let's try it from here. So this is at maximum magnification. So I'm really happy with this series. This beautiful link spider protecting its exec looks absolutely gorgeous. Just like with any other type of wildlife photography, macro photography is essentially the same. There are a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of failed attempts, but once you get that shot right, once you're successful, it is so satisfying. I have found a really cool, super tiny iridescent leaf beetle. Looks really gorgeous, bronze color. I'm gonna try and capture it. It's resting just right here on this leaf. I'm gonna hold this leaf pretty firmly. It has moved to the edge of the leaf. Hopefully I'm not gonna bump into too many spider webs. Oh, what the hell? I'm running low on battery already on this GoPro, so if I lose power, then I'll just show you the images. By the way, if you're enjoying this uh, photo walk, don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much. I found another subject, which is a moth. Let's try and capture it. It's a little bit too large, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna try and take a couple of shots and then stack them in post. I have found a beautiful orb beaver that is hiding in his little or her retreat sack. I'm gonna turn this leaf inside out and I'm gonna shoot from this side. It is so cool, this spider, beautiful. And there is a large crane fly here too. I'm actually gonna zoom out. And I'm gonna try and capture it from this side. It is beautiful, pretty big. I'm gonna bump into the vegetation, that's the problem. Such a beautiful specimen. It is moving just up there. Maybe I can capture it from the side from here. Let's try it. From here. Ow! Oh my god. Changing the aperture accidentally. I'm gonna try and get an image at max magnification. All right, I think I'm gonna head back home. The battery is running really low. Thank you so much for joining me on this photo walk. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you're into macro photography and you enjoy this video. Thanks again and catch you all very soon in the next one. I actually captured several more amazing species that day, including some awesome weevils. So keep an eye out for my next video, which will be a compilation where I'll focus on the image quality of the Laowa 90mm on the Canon R7.